Hello, hello everybody. This is Monty with Flowers by the Bunch. I hope you are having a wonderful afternoon. Today I am going to work on a, what do I call this? It is a memorial piece that is actually going to, this is a, um, a wreath form that's actually going to sit around an urn for a memorial service. And so what I'm starting out with, this is actually an oasis um, wreath form. It's made with fresh floral foam and it's got um, little clips so it holds it into place. Um, you can see how it's kind of clipped on the sides, but it holds it into place. You can actually hang this on a stand. Today, we are going to be making the arrangement to actually sit directly on the table. They will be placing the urn in the center of the arrangement and um, the foam has been soaked in fresh water. So it came, um, it's just regular um, Oasis foam or fresh flower foam. We went ahead and soaked it. And so I am going to get a, get started arranging. I am, first of all, this is strange for me. And I'm sure somebody's going to say, well, you're doing it backwards. And I am today going to do this a little differently than I normally make an arrangement. I'm going to grab a knife real quick. Um, normally, when I make a flower arrangement, I start out with all of my greenery first. Today, I am going to start out with my glads in this arrangement. And the reason being is because that's going to be um, how I figure out where all my greenery needs to go. So this is going to be an all pink and green arrangement. And it's going to have glad it's going to have flowers and greenery in the back, back towards the back. The urn's going to sit here. The flower and greenery are going to go back here, and then it's going to kind of come all the way around. I'm actually going to grab a vase so that you can visualize an urn. This is just a glass vase. Um, I'm going to sit here so you can kind of get the idea of what it's going to look like. I'm going to start out with some pink gladiolus. Um, so these are pink glads, just and they're very open and very pretty. So I'm going to take these glads, and I'm going to start out with them right back here toward the back of the arrangement. I'm leaving the buds at the top just because I think they're really pretty. Most of the time, if I'm going to use gladiolus, most of the time I will pinch the tops out of the glads, but I really like them in this arrangement, so I'm gonna leave them. So I'm kind of just staggering these glads down in this arrangement. All right, so I started out with that so that I could figure out how to go about doing my greenery. Next, I'm gonna come in with a little bit of leather leaf. This is just, um, leather leaf is just a inexpensive greenery we use a lot here in the shop. I use it as a greenery just to base my um, arrangements with. I'm gonna take it using my fingernail and just pop that. And I'm going to place some greenery around the back side. Now you have to be careful with this arrangement. It's going to have to be completely finished. What I mean by that is the oasis ring, there's oasis really deep down into the arrangement. It all has to be covered. That oasis all needs to be covered because when the arrangement arrives, although you're gonna put an urn in that center, you do not want to deliver an arrangement that's not complete. It needs to, um, it needs to be pretty. Um, and so it's just like, although they, people don't see the back side of the arrangement, you need greenery on the back side. It just needs to be completed, okay? And so make it a point when making an arrangement like this to be sure that um, it's complete. You want it pretty all the way around. So I am just taking this leather leaf and I am just adding some greenery all the way around. I do have some pittosporum that's going to make it really easy also. I'm gonna use that too, but I just thought I would start out with a little bit of leather. So I'm just taking it and popping that stem 
and just tucking that leather right into that oasis. This is a little time consuming. But it's important that your arrangement is finished. You want, and that's with any kind of arrangement you do. Um, when you do a standing spray, finish off the back. Um, and I know that sometimes you'll feel like, well, that's wasted. But really, if someone sees it, it's not wasted. You don't want anybody to see an unfinished arrangement. All right, now I'm going to come in with a little, I'm going to, I'll turn it around and I'll, I'll go ahead and do that while we're on so you can see how back here, you can see all of that foam. Go ahead with your greenery and finish it, okay? And I realize that's not fun, <laughs> but it's important. Okay, next I'm gonna take my piss form turn it back around. I'm going to take my Pittosporum. Um, so Pitt is a, um, it's a shrub and it grows, actually we have it growing locally here. This is actually purchased, but you can grow it locally. You can grow it in your yard. It's a pretty shrub. It comes in a variegated. It also comes in a solid, like a real dark green. I love the variegated, but I'm just going to take it and pop it into small pieces. And I am going to tuck that greenery right in to that foam. really such a pretty greenery. I love it. And the nice thing about Pitt is like you can get several um, several pieces. So you saw how I popped that in half. That's still pretty there. And so you can just tuck. You get several um, pieces to go in, which is nice. And if it's growing in your yard, that's even better, right? I always say, if you can cut greenery out of your yard, if it's hardy, pretty foliage in your yard, and it's going to save you money and it's going to save your customer money, go out and cut foliage and harvest foliage. Um, it's just, just the way to go, I think. I really need to plant one of these <laughs> shrubs, Victoria. All right, so I've just about got all my greenery in. I do have some other greens that we will add at the end, but this way now I've got all of my mechanics um, covered. I just need to make sure that all of that is covered. Okay, so next I'm gonna come in. I have a picture for reference. Um, my customer brought in a picture or sent me a picture that she really liked, and so that's kind of what I'm going by. Um, next I'm going to come in. I have a little bit, I'll do the mandina at the end. I'm going to start on this side here with, I'm gonna start with a little bit. So um, the greenery that's shown in the picture is um, myrtle. I don't have any myrtle. So I'm gonna use some sword fern over here um, just to give us this upright growth like the myrtle would. And it kind of still gives us that, um, that background. Um, I have one more piece, I'm gonna tuck that in. Next is Alstroemeria lilies on this side. So they're kind of a pretty pink Alstro. I'm gonna use this, um, this pink and white Alstro. Has a touch of yellow, just a really pretty Alstroemeria lily. 
love Astros, come in lots and lots of color. Um, I'm gonna put my vase back in so you can kind of see where my urn's gonna go. Um, Astros are long lasting, just a really pretty um, lily, and I just love them. I'm gonna tuck us some Astros. I usually just strip all that foliage off. It's a little shorter. in place. Next we're going to do some pink carnations. So I have these very sweet, they're very, very um, blush pink carnations, just a very sweet carnation. Now I'm going to show you how we open up carnations. So you're going to take, see how this one's kind of tight? I'm going to take this calyx and I'm holding it between my thumb and my forefinger. I'm going to hold it kind of tight and then I'm just going to brush that little carnation and see how he opened up. Now, you want to do that when they're tight. You always want to hold it in your hand just like I showed you, and the reason being is their little heads will pop off. So be careful, because you don't want their little heads to pop off, so you just take them and hold them in that hand like that, and just brush that little carnation. I love this pink. Such a pretty flower. Just brush it. Next, I'm going to come in with some lilies. I can find where I put them. These are called rose lilies. Now, rose lilies are actually. It's in the um, Asiatic, nope, nope, it's in the Oriental Lily family. Oriental Lilies have a pretty fragrance. And so it is in the Oriental Lily family. The thing that's different is it's got lots of petals. It's more of a double or a triple um, petaled lily. Smells real pretty, not overwhelming, but smells really pretty. And so I'm gonna take them, and you see I have two stems here. I'm just gonna cut those individual stems off. I'm going to tuck them right down deep into, nestle them down in between those carnations. And like I said, they smell real pretty. There's a nice smelling lily, but not an overwhelming. Sometimes you can get um, oriental lilies and they, they can be overwhelming, but these don't happen to overwhelm you. Go ahead and use these buds. I'm going to tuck them right over here, nestle them into those Astromary lilies. Okay, so we've got our lilies in place. Let's look at my picture. Next, we're going to come in with some green hydrangeas. So these are called mini green hydrangeas, and I'm just going to remove a good bit of their foliage. green hydrangeas right in this oasis. I love that pretty green. The picture didn't show quite as many lilies, but they were just too pretty. I just kept putting them in. <laughs> they were just so pretty. All right, and in these um, hydrangeas, we are gonna tuck some of these sweet little spray roses, pink spray roses.
throwing the stuff on the floor over here. This pretty pink arrangement is so nice though. I think this is perfect for a lady. And I'm not even a pink girl, but I think it's very pretty. take and put in just a little bit of um, pretty foliage. Now this is um, some foliage that we harvested out of our yard here. It's a Nandina foliage, just kind of a pretty lacy um, greenery. And I thought we would top just a little bit of this pretty lacy. stand back and make sure I do have some I always like to stand back after you've um, you think it's done stand back and see if there's any place that needs something and I think it's needing it's needing a stem of something right here tuck this another little rose right in there this one's kind of broken I'm gonna cut him a little short an extra something, go ahead and make sure, you know, always stand back from your arrangement and look at it and make sure, just in case, because when you're standing on it and you're arranging, it's always harder to see. But this is what the um, picture looked like, and so it's really pretty. It really turned out very nice. Guys, thank you so much for being here this afternoon. Um, if you liked this video or liked videos like it, you can always um, be sure to subscribe to our channel. You can follow us on Facebook, Instagram. We're also on TikTok. Guys, have a wonderful day and we'll see you real soon.